Well, good morning. Uh, it is Saturday, and I thought I would uh, do a video log. <laughs> Don't mind me. Um, last weekend, I kind of was lazy and didn't do it for the first weekend in a long time. But we didn't really get up to much. Um, we were moving a little wood and uh, working on dirt for the cosplay shed. But, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys a new thing going on in my life and that is Invisalign I don't know if you can see but uh, basically I have these Invisalign trays um, I'm gonna be straightening, straightening mostly straightening my, my bottom teeth as you can see they're kind of uh, they're kind of crooked uh, the front teeth are pretty good or front teeth the top teeth are pretty good but yeah, the bottom teeth are crooked, and I, I just kind of wanted to get back to a spot where I can w just wear a retainer at night and be good for the rest of my life or whatever. So, um, so that's where I'm. Well, that's kind of the path I'm on with that. And so I just started Invisalign yesterday, and it's kind of a pain in the butt. You have to wear these things like 22 hours a day, and um, take them out to eat. And then you have to brush your teeth, floss your teeth, and then put them back in. And so I, yesterday, like, I flossed and brushed my teeth like five times. It's crazy. Um, and then while they're in, you're only supposed to drink water, which is crazy to me. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's not like I drink a lot of pop or anything, but, you know, tea, coffee. So I'll have to make sure to drink my coffee with my breakfast. And, uh, and yeah, no, like, tea, no, like, sipping, that's the thing, you can't really sip, you have to kind of drink it all at once and then put it back in, like, take them out, drink, drink whatever, and then put them back in, so it's kind of a pain, so they call this the Invisalign diet, because you, you, you have to do all this work if you want to eat, so you just end up not eating as much, <laughs> or as often, so that's where I'm at. A um, little bit of pain in the mouth right now. Um, there's these little like brackets um, that are teeth colored. They call them attachments on a couple of the teeth and they help kind of keep the trays in the right way and start the rotations of the teeth and stuff. And those are kind of poking at me, poking at the insides of my mouth. And so I am um, so I've, I'm getting sores in my mouth already. So I'm just hoping my mouth will adjust soon. And that'll be over. So, on the docket today is... Um, first off, going to take my husband's uh, leased car back. Because he, he has a new car. The car he had on lease is over. The lease is over. So I'm going to take that back. And then I'm going to come back here and do some latex and maybe some chores and that kind of stuff but yeah that's that's how that's what it's looking like so come along with me and uh let's have some fun shall we all right returning his car say goodbye all right well that car's gone okay let's see you notice this one, there are only setting the two seat settings on this. Alright, so we're in traffic now. We're getting away from the guy with the truck back there that had several couches on the back that weren't right. strapped down very well. <laughs> that is going to turn into a flying couch on the front. Really, oh, there it is. There it is. So the couch is doing 70 miles on the freeway. Another car doing 60 hits the couch and imparts a lot of energy from the car doing 60 miles an hour onto the couch. 
and sends the couch spinning onto the freeway, end over end over end, <laughs> until another car hits it at 50 miles an hour and gives it more energy, spinning around and around on the freeway. Flying couch. And uh, you, like I said, you really have to have seen one of these incidents happen. And it's we should a, look that up on YouTube. And it's a uh, oh, I bet you there's videos of it, yeah. And it's really a physics question. Yeah, it is. At what point will the couch stop? <laughs> so here we are. Best nacho ever. Have a nacho. It's uh, pretty cheesy. Very cheesy. Yeah, it's our favorite place to get nachos is uh, Rosita's. And their steak quesadillas, or quesadillas in general, are really good here, too. So, yeah, all around it's a great place. The only bad thing is the parking. Um, you gotta get in with the lots got some spaces or you gotta find some street parking so and we still gotta do green like uh paddleboard or paddle boarding or boarding but, uh, whatever whatever <laughs> let's get out of the water that's what yeah. we did and here i am i uh, changed we came home after the nacho and uh just working in the shop now working on some latex Finally doing it, putting in a crotch zipper. Um, added a little bit of collar first. It's not done, but um, the piece itself is in. I mean, the cat suit itself is in like in four pieces still, and I want to keep it that way until the zipper is in because it's easier to put the zipper in flat than like messing with all the curves and stuff. So, anyways. That's going well, we'll see how that goes. Okay, I gotta admit, this is when I start to get excited because half of the zipper is done. Well, not done, but the, the top part. Here, let me change the camera. So yeah, this is when I start to get excited. So I got one side of the zipper done. Um, and then once I do this other side, then I'll flip it around and we gotta add reinforcement on the back side too. Okay, the zipper's in on top, both sides. As you can see, once it gets to the end here, we've got like all this other, we have the two halves just sitting there, so I have to take care of that too. Okay, well, I think that's about all I'm gonna get to today, but I got the zipper in, and then I added a strip in here as well to put that together. And so we have this long kind of piece here. Here's the back, and this is the front, and so this is the actual crotch right there, so progress. So here we are, doing a photo shoot, and uh, I'm doing Celine from Underworld. It's really more of a closet cosplay, but um, got Abby here too, doing uh, her vampire cosplay. And uh, yeah, just having a makeshift photo shoot today and out at Gasworks Park. And it's 80 degrees out and I'm in latex. Yeah, dedication. <laughs> what I call a pizza burrito. Pizza burrito. You have to have hot sauce on it too. Pizza burrito. Well, good morning. I'm already at the shop and it is 11 o'clock. And um, so yesterday I showed you the get the zipper in and then today I actually, here I'll turn it. So today I actually did the backing. Um, so the front part of the zipper is how it goes in, right? But then the back thing you want it um, latex all in on the back as well. And so you have to do both sides. So, um, so basically reinforced. And I'm thinking of what to do next, but I might do the Batgirl logo. Mm -hmm. I just got my 
eyebrows refreshed. They look pretty on fleek, if you ask me. <laughs> and now we're gonna go shopping, get some groceries, and fried chicken. Not taking the left here. Totally good. Good. Not going to. Well, I am about beat. It's six o'clock, and. Uh, I'm ready for bed. <laughs> Probably take a nap in a little bit here, but got some pretty good progress with the latex uh, cape basically created and then finished uh, the zipper in the cat suit. I was gonna do the um, Batgirl symbol and I realized I don't have the right pattern for the right symbol, so um, I found it online and I just gotta print it and cut it out and then use that, so. That will be coming soon. Anyways, I'll probably sign off for now. So um, look for the morning update on Tuesday. And you all have a great week. Great uh, first week of August starting Tuesday. So, all right. Bye.